when it comes to the Game Boy Advance, I don't have a ton of games. There are some, I have a few. I have a few. I have a few complete in box. That's what I'm going to show you. One of the games is only the cart and the box. I didn't get the manual, although I did see one on eBay. So maybe I might get it. I don't know. It's, it's a $30 manual. But anyway, I'll start off with uh, Final Fantasy IV Advance. So this was released as uh, what, Final Fantasy II on the Super Nintendo. And that's what I... Uh, paid for it. I think I got this at a convention or maybe I got this at the flea market. And you know, every Game Boy Advance game that I got complete in box, even the one that was just the box without the manual, uh, everyone always had a plastic uh, retro protection protector on it. So Game Boy Advance collectors and people that just buy Game Boy Advance games, I guess this is a standard uh, if you still have the box to put one of these retro protection uh, protectors on there. And when it comes to Game Boy Advance, of course I want the box. Like, come on. I, I do have what I'm going to show you, and I probably have maybe 30 carts of like other games. I'm not pressed to get the box for. Sometimes I take a Nintendo DS box that has the Game Boy Advance slot, and I'll print artwork, especially when I had that uh, t-shirt uh, store. Long-time viewers of my channel remember that time. I was making repros and sending them out, and that was fun times, fun times. But anyway, Final Fantasy IV, and this has all the inserts, all the paperwork. I really don't feel like busting it open but um if you guys get at me in the comments and you really want to see me open these things up i don't mind showing you but yeah final fantasy 4 okay next one this one i paid quite a bit for this i bought this for about 50 dollars this is a i guess it's riviera riviera this was released or a version of this i, I believe was released on the the psp as well um, I've, I've never played this um, to be honest with you i just saw this at a retro store it was like 50 bucks i think yep I was like, you know what? It's an Atlas RPG, you know, Game Boy Advance. I like the Game Boy Advance. I have a old school Game Boy Advance, and I also have a Nintendo DS Lite that I play Game Boy Advance games on. That's my actually preferred way to play Game Boy Advance games. But yeah, I saw this, and I was like, you know, I make I make all right money. So I was like, all right, I'll get it, fifty bucks. I still haven't played it yet, so it was kind of stupid of me to buy this. But when am I going to run across a? Game Boy Advance RPG for under $50. Complete in box. Everything's in here. So anyway, there's that one. Uh, you know, when it comes to some of these Game Boy Advance games, I don't think I paid. I think that's the... No, I have one game that I paid $70 for. And then I paid a couple. A couple I paid $50 for. And everything else was, was, was less than that. So um, here we go. Gradius Galaxies. I got this at a convention. I think I got this at Too Many Games. And, uh, you know, that... Philly or uh, Pennsylvania convention. Everything's in here. Uh, I believe as of late, this has become uh, sought after. A lot of these games have actually. The Game Boy Advance is kind of going the way of uh, the GameCube as far as collecting and collecting in 2021. As of the recording of this video, it's 2021. The prices of everything have gone kind of crazy, including the price of Gradius Galaxies. I think this is like a $100 uh, game now. A few of these games are $100 games, but yeah. Gradius Galaxies, and uh, there's the. This has some pretty good screenshots on it. When I was at the convention and I saw this, I was like, "Yep, yep." And the shoot the core had to have it. Thirty five bucks. Okay, here, here's one. This one's gone up a lot in price. Advance Wars too. This is this for the longest time. This was the easiest complete in box Game Boy Advance game to find. As a matter of fact, here it was a. Uh, Kind of pricey at the time, 30 bucks, but it was a really good shape. And I saw that that screenshot there, and that reminded me of Dragon Force on the Sega Saturn, which is a game that I actually like. Um, I'll be honest with you, I never even got around to playing this yet. I just bought it, um, and I paid a lot for it at the time. It was 30 bucks, but I think this one's gone up. I think I checked online a few months ago, and this one went up quite a bit. All the paperwork's in there but still haven't played it but if this game sucks i mean i'll get rid of it if it sucks but if it's good i wouldn't mind trying it out and it looks like it's one of those games that you uh play multiplayer yeah i don't know anyway advance wars 2 on the game boy advance uh next one gunstar superheroes got you know gunstar heroes was a uh, that was a Genesis game, right? Treasure game. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, treasure games. This is uh, Did Treasure have anything to do with this? Gunstar Heroes was a treasure game, right? Yeah, it's a treasure game. Okay, this one's a treasure game as well. Um, 
This one was okay. I, I played this for a bit. It wasn't uh, anything to write home about, but Gunstar Superheroes on the on the Game Boy Advance, a lot of people have touted this as, as being a hidden gem. I honestly, I think it's okay. It's an okay game. Me personally, as old as I am, I like the 2D sprite work and, and, and all that stuff. But it's, it's okay. It's okay. You know, it's got a Sega logo on the box. You know, it's always a decent game when you see that. But this was actually one that I paid 50 bucks for as well. And I bought this on uh, on eBay a few years ago. It was 50 bucks then. And it's not, I don't think it's too much more than that now. But, um... If you collect Game Boy Advance games, it's it's definitely something to look out for, Gunstar Superheroes. Um, next one, this is the only port of Tales of Fantasia. That's what this is. The only port that we got in the U.S. This was a, a very notorious uh, Super Nintendo game. And the first Tales of game. And we never got it here in the States, but we did get it. We got it on the Game Boy Advance. And yes, this, this version is... Uh, not as good as the version that came out on the Super Famicom, but it is decent, and I think this has shot up to be like a like a hundred dollar game too. And as a matter of fact, my flea market, check this out. And for those of you that live near me and go to the flea market that I'm talking to, I know some of you do. They got a ton of Game Boy Advance games, and they got a ton of them complete in box. I'm about to go down there and buy up a bunch of them. They got a ton of them because I know if I get five, six, or seven of them, I can get a, a deal if I bundle them together. But I think I might do that because they got a bunch of the Final Fantasies and stuff like that. And like I said, if y'all want to go down there, you know, scoop them up because they're there. Yeah, they're, they're there. They're just waiting to be bought. But, uh, you know, now that I think about it, and I was just staring at them the other day. Um, anyway, Tales of Fantasia, Game Boy Advance. Um, here's another one. I got this at the flea market, too. And, you know, they all have the plastic protectors on them. But this uh, Mario, this Super Mario Advance, so... I was watching a YouTube video somebody did. As a matter of fact, it may have been, God, it may have been Darius Truxton <laughs> of all people. But uh, he was talking, I think it was him. He was talking about this game and how this was uh, like a Mario 2, which is my favorite one for the Game Boy Advance. And as soon as I heard that, I ran down to the flea market and they had this in a player's choice edition. I kind of like that this is a player's choice edition because when I hear player's choice edition, I think that like any kind of updates or patches or anything that the game would need to run better on a console is probably what they would have in something like a player's choice edition. So for like collectors and stuff, you know, people that buy games or people that just play them, a player's choice edition or the equivalent on any system is probably the way to go for a lot of you. At least that's the way I look at it. But, uh, Anyway, there's actually two games on here. It's Super Mario 2. It's like a, a reimagining of Super Mario 2. It's decent. I played this. And then the first Mario game that uh, you know that came out on Atari. It's like a re reimagining of uh of that as well. But anyway, Super Mario Advance. And there was a bunch of Mario games that came out on the Game Boy Advance. That's just the only one I have. This is pretty much I mean, I guess this would I don't, I wouldn't even consider this a first party Nintendo game. You know, I would consider this probably the only first-party Nintendo game that I have on the Game Boy Advance, but... Okay. Next up. Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Now, God, you guys might crucify me in the comments, but I still haven't played this. I just got this at the flea market. This was like one of the first Game Boy Advance games that I got. It wasn't too expensive. Maybe maybe 20 bucks. I don't know. I don't think I paid a lot for this. But again, they this is the type of shit they still have down there. Those of you that watch my videos, I'm telling y'all, it's behind the counter. Some of actually, some of it's not even behind the counter. A lot of the complete, half the complete inbox stuff's like, you can just like grab it and, and have them ring, ring it up. You know, you take it to them, but you know, the other half of it's behind the shelf. But anyway, there's still a lot up there, but I've heard this is a really good RPG. Let me know in the comments, am I really missing out by not playing this? I really want to be able to play this on the TV. Like, yeah, I know I can emulate, and even I know if I got a Retron 5 or something, it would still be emulation. But I've been waiting to get something like a Retron 5 to play this. I really have been, so I can play it on the TV. But, <sighs> yeah, Golden Sun. You know, what made me want to make this video, I watched I watched uh, Afro Gamer Dude. And he shared his complete inbox Game Boy Advance games off. And I thought, well, hell, I got a few of those. I might as well show what I got. So that's what made me want to actually make this video. And this is actually the last one. And this is actually the game I paid the most for. And it's missing its manual. Now, that is Klonoa. I paid $70 for this. So I probably got ripped off. Um, 
I don't even know what this goes for. The manual on eBay is 30. If I get that, and there, there may be other inserts, I don't know. But all I have is the cart and the box, but I never see this. And I think there's a sequel that came out on the Game Boy Advance as well. I've never seen that. This is the only one I've seen. There's actually a store. It's talking about obscure Game Boy Advance games. There's a store. Re Regen in White Marsh. I'll, th I'll put it out there for those of you that want to get this game. If you get it before me. It's expensive. It's like a $100 game. But they got Jazz Jackrabbit for the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, Jazz Jackrabbit. I never see that. I never see this. The one time. I've never even seen this at a convention, but... I played this, it is good, even though Klonoa is notorious for being a, a, a very, very good 3D platformer. This does translate well uh, to 2D, but um, yeah, so that's it, guys. That's everything I got right here. So how many games does this complete in box? Let's see. Three, six, nine. Yeah, you got nine complete inbox Game Boy Advance games. Like I said, I got a, a bunch more. They're just carts only. If you guys want to see this, if you really want to see them, I'll make a video. I'll upload it. <laughs> a lot of them, like I said, they've had the uh, the DS cases. You know, kind of like uh, I don't have any any in this shelf, but I take cases like that and just use the Game Boy Advance slot. But anyways, guys, till next time. Peace.